What is going on guys? The Gaming Ram here and welcome back to Beaming G Drive and today uh, we have a lot of toys around here that we are going to be playing with here today. So as you guys can see right here we got ourselves a Dodge Viper and today, to, to, blah, 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 today is a mole power day. So basically uh, we got a couple of mole power cars around here. Uh, we are in the complete desert, so you already know what that what that means. So we're gonna be messing around with the Viper, and I got some in that hangar over there. I'm gonna show you guys it in a minute here, but let's continue. I'm gonna mess around a little bit more on this in this Viper, and uh, okay. So um, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, scat pack I told you guys about. Well, remember I told you. When I dropped off the Duramax, I actually had, uh, kind of, I dropped the scat pack off too, to get worked on. It, a lot of work has been done. Uh, so, today, I actually can show you guys what has been done to the scat pack. I'm not going to show you yet. You guys might have seen a sneak peek of it, but I'm not going to show you it yet. But a lot of work has been put into the scat pack. And you can almost, you can't even really call it a scat pack anymore because it's not really a scat pack anymore. But it is, in fact, the stock, well, it is kind of the stock, uh, well, it is kind of the scat pack's body. So I guess you can kind of still call it a scat pack. But anyway, without further ado, here is the scat pack, or somewhat. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Dodge Challenger, um, as you guys can see. It does, I did wrap it, so it does have a wrap on it. Uh, let me get it over there to the with the Viper, and I can show you guys it up close. So this car, we done a lot of work. A lot of work has been put into this car, um, and it's just crazy to just, just see it, because it's been a while since you guys seen this car. And in fact, it used the last time you guys seen it was literally when I picked up the Duramax. But this car, um, it did. I did in fact uh, get the Demon wheels on it, so it does have the Dodge Demon wheels. So it does have those. So it kind of gives you guys a hint to kind of what kind of car we're talking about. What, what we got here? What we got? Because. It is no longer your typical RT. Without further ado, I guess I can show you guys the engine if I can figure out how to do this. So, if you guys want to take a little peek at the engine, look at this. Look at that. It is, in fact, the uh, supercharged Hemi. So, it does have. Now, the Scat Pack came with a 6.4 liter V8 and a engine. This car now has a 6.4 two liter at supercharged hemi under the hood of this car and that's not all it has a little bit more tuning and stuff that had went into it it has the the ecu is a race ecu um it has a race uh it has a dual clutch believe it or not so it's no longer the, it's still the eight speed uh transmission uh i can kind i guess i can show you it but if you look over here, the engine, it's supercharged. It has the ingestible race ECU. It's stage two long block. Uh, the engine mounts not going anywhere. Uh, red eye. It, okay. The supercharger actually came from the Dodge Challenger red eye. So that is pushing a lot more power. Um, stock exhaust, nothing's changed up on it. Uh, if I wanted to, I could do a muffler delete, but I'm going to leave the mufflers on it for now. Um, and the transmission is an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. So she's going to kick butt when she shifts these gears. It is in fact nitrous. So it does have nitrous under the hood or hooked up to this engine. It's fired up. So let's take this, the car out. Listen to this. It's a monster now. Listen to the growl of this car. This thing. <laughs> That dual clutch, boy, that dual clutch is where it's at. Like, it's, it's not, it, look, 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 Challengers, um, their eight speed was already quick. 
if you talk, oh God, Jesus. <laughs> but if you talk about an eight speed door clutch, look, look at how quick that is. It's so, it, it shifts so quick. <laughs> oh my God, this is sick. I love it. Um, how much power? We don't know yet. All we know is that we put a whole bunch of power into this car and this is just nothing. It's opening up a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna wait till we get to the good road and really open this thing up, but boy, does this thing get. You can hear that supercharger whine. Oh my God, you can't even drive it. <laughs> oh my God. Good luck, good traction. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, and the car won't let me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give her, I'm trying to get gas in it. It's just the car will not allow you. I'm easing into it. I'm easing. I'm still easing into the gas. I'm easing. I'm still easing onto the gas. I'm losing control of it right now. I am letting off right now. I can't drive it. You, you cannot do a full pull. <laughs> it will not allow you. These tires are just terrible. Even though these are the demon wheels, I still can't drive them. All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna have to get like a drag pack on it, but try it again. Ease onto it, ease it, ease it, ease it. Ease it, ease it, ease it, ease it. Can't do it, you can't do it. You just can't do it. It will not allow you to drive it. It will not take full throttle, okay? It will not do it. I can't get this car to do full throttle. All right? And it just, ah, this car's crazy. It's crazy power though. I'm still easing. It's gonna downshift in a minute. It might downshift again, but I think that's good. All right, here we go. I can't do it. <laughs> as soon as you break, you go going 170 miles an hour and the car just said, nope, not today. So I can't get this car to go full throttle um, without losing control of it. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get like a drag tire to go on here. Like, I think a drag tire will work way better than a race tire. So I'm gonna see if I can get a, a drag tire to go in this car. Uh, so give me about nah, five minutes or so and I'll be back with you guys. All right, so welcome back. We got ourselves a drag tire on this car now. So let me get out and I'm show you guys it. So we got some grip all drag tire to go in this car. She's cutting a little bit on the tires, but we're gonna see if this work. If it works, then we remodify the car and just see. But right now we just wanna see if we can get this car to even take this the speed full throttle so let's go that dual clutch is a big help on this car all right let's ease into the gas give her the beans give her the beans full throttle coming up oh lord hold on wait a minute <laughs> yeah wait a minute it's a lot better than those other tires i had on the car but these oh get on a stick that's the problem man Downshift, downshift again. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. We ain't ready. We ain't ready yet. Wait. Full throttle. Um, half throttle coming down on it right now. That's half throttle. I'm still putting that pedal down. I'm still putting that gas down. Tire is the car ain't happy with me. It ain't happy. Let off. It ain't happy. It don't like it. It don't like it. No. It don't like that. No. I can't even use the nitrous. <laughs> I can't even use it. <laughs> All right, let's head back. I'm giving it beans slowly, slowly, slowly. Wait, let off a little bit. All right, back on it, back on it. Wait, get off, get off of it. All right, wait, okay, wait, wait. All right, get her down, get her down, get her down, get her down, get her down. We're almost. Full throttle. That's 233. That's full. We have full throttle here, boys. Let's go. There we go. 200 and 
30. Oh, goodness gracious, we're cooking. Head gaskets. Wait a minute. 234 miles an hour. We are moving. The big boat moves. Heck yeah. We didn't do weight reduction yet. Don't even get me started on the weight reduction. That's coming next. <laughs> this is just test running it full, full on. All right. Jesus Christ, this car is crazy. I love it, though. All right. But the car ain't happy with us. Um, so I got to shut it down before we do any more damage. Uh, we're going to head back into the Viper. And we're going to take the Viper over to the truck. And we're going to pick up this by the truck. So let me go and do that now. We are now in the Viper. And we got to go and get the truck. So that way we can get the car without destroying it completely. Because right now... If I continue driving the, uh, the the Challenger, it's going to blow up because we already the car, well, look we destroyed the head gasket on the car. Uh, it's already burnt oil like crazy, uh, and who knows what else what other what else happened to the engine? But like I said before, you guys know how I test stuff. You know, I test it hard, and what happens is this is how I do things. I test the cars hard. If the cars handle it and if the cars don't handle it or if something breaks we know right then and there that's the that's what needs to be fixed that's the problem so i test it hard so that way we know what to repeat or what to replace so yeah this is just a random uh like in a viper so it's not anything uh But we are in the desert. It's hot out here. <laughs> it is hot out here, okay? And you can see the Viper's already cooking. We're going 160 miles an hour in the engine temperature. There goes the kid to cool it on the engine on this one. I could take it down. Take it down a notch. So you gotta slow it down before we blow this one up too. Because if we blow this one up, we're stranded. Because we're nowhere near close to the truck. <laughs> and if we wreck it, we also gonna be stranded. So hold on to it. So wait, wait a minute, wait, put it back on the road, put it back on the road, Jesus, Viper, what you doing, no, no, you ain't going down there, no, but it's like a little, little, a legit little bitty town here, uh, literally in the middle of the desert, uh, that we had stopped at, it's 60 miles, this complete town is 60 miles, so it's a big town, so it's a lot of traveling. <laughs> it's a lot of traveling. So I see you guys a little bit later. All right, we're coming up here into the town right now. It's a gas station right there on the right. You might see it. You see the church, and we got some houses here. We're gonna be making a right turn in here. It's the only way in here. If you don't take it, you're gonna pass this gas station. And if you need gas, you're screwed. <laughs> so here we are. All right, we're gonna have to load the Viper up because I gotta take it back because it's literally a rented Viper. So I, I I gotta make sure I do that. So let me do this. I probably should have moved the truck so that way we can, I don't know, I didn't think about this. I can just load it. I got my ways. I got the ways of loading it. All right, let's get this Viper in here. Now, I could have brought the big trailer. I did not. But this should do. If not, we will we have to drop it off later. But just because I only got one car in here right now, we can load it like this. Um, let's see. P for the parking brake. And then we're going to just do that. And I would do that, but it doesn't need it. All right, so let's head over and let's try to get the Hellcat or the Scat Pack Hellcat Demon thing. Whatever the car you want to name it, because honestly, I have no idea what to name that car now, because it's literally the mixture of a Demon, a Scat Pack, and a Hellcat. So, <laughs> what type of car is it? I have no idea. But let's go and get it real quick, because we literally, we tore that engine up. That engine got tore up. But we know this. The, the, we know what that 
that car is capable of. That car is capable of going well over 260 miles an hour. So, yeah, we definitely know the speeds of it. And guys, by the way, we did not, we did not use nitrous whatsoever in that car run. So that's just the car engine. That's just a 6.2 liter with the supercharger from the Red Eye. That's not even including the the nitrous. If we added nitrous, guys, we're hitting 300 miles an hour in that car. And it's not ready for it. Because already, the second that car hits 170, all prayers, okay? It's nothing but prayer. Because you ain't going to be able to hold on to that car. Because it wants to slide up out of you. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Or slide. That did not sound right at all. But that car wants to slide completely away from you so yeah you you're gonna lose control of it so it's just mm, kind of handling out of like okay just roll into the gas let's just roll into it because if you go full throttle yep you're gonna do a complete 360 and you might mm, I, I, I don't know you, you you gonna tear something up <laughs> All right, so I had to drop the demon off, or uh, no, not the demon. I had to drop off the, uh, the I had to drop off the viper, so I can make room because we're not gonna be able to get the demon in the viper in this trailer together. Uh, it's just the the trailer is not long enough, and I didn't bring I did not that boo boo boo, I did not bring my big trailer, so I can't haul both. But this will do. But this Duramax is a torque monster. Like, it doesn't care. Like, we're in the desert at like 100 degrees, and this truck's like, whatever. Whatever. I do this every day. <laughs> it does not care. It literally isn't affected by the desert whatsoever. And I'm doing full throttle right now up that hill. That temperature, normal temperature. Not a big deal. Pushing out almost 40 pounds of boost. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> This is why I brought the Duramax and not the Cummins, because the Cummins, it's a great truck, but the temperature, it may not like this 100 degree weather. So I decided to bring the Duramax in. It's it's a reason I built this truck for a tow rig. The The Cummins is, if, it is a tow rig, but it's more of like a backup tow rig, just because it is in fact a 20, like a 21 year old truck. All right, I don't know where this car at. I know we went far, but man, I didn't think we went this far. Unless it was on the other road. But we came out onto this road, so that don't make sense. I don't know. I'm going to pass this, but I don't really remember going this far. I don't see it. Like for miles and miles and miles, I don't see it. We can't go too far because, again, this map is 60 miles, all right? So this is a big, big map, okay? So if we go 60 miles out of the way of the car, yeah, that's not good. 20 minutes later. Oh, well, jeez, man, look at this. Well, I was literally about to say I don't know where it's at, but look at this. Look at who we just stumbled across or stumbled upon. Our broke down challenger. Heck yeah. Literally, I was about to call it quits and head back, but here we go. We found it. We literally found the, the Challenger. There she is. All right, cool. That is sweet. I figured it was on the other road. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember going on this road, but I guess I took this road for whatever reason. But... The car should run. I don't know how long it's going to run, but it, I think I can get it to run enough to get it loaded. So let's see. Get that thing in there. Come on, Challenger, get in there. It's a big girl, man. Jesus. <laughs> this is a big car. Oh, you got stuck. I forgot I got the car lowered. Okay, we're going to have to give it some speed. We got to give it some speed here. There we go. How's that? That's good enough. Bring it back, maybe a little bit. 
bring it back a little bit. This trailer's gonna get smoked out here in a minute. This car is smoking, so let's see. Go forward. That's good enough. We gotta shut the thing down. The engine still runs. I don't want to completely tear it up. All right, bring that ramp back up, and we are heading back. All right, so we got some. Uh, we we still got a lot of work ahead of us uh, as far as this Challenger goes. But the Challenger is almost done. We just got to do a little bit more work. The engine has to be built a little bit more. We got to replace all the broken parts. We got to get some good tires to go on here because the tires that's on it, it is not good enough to handle the type of power. To, and this car has to get dyno so we know how much power this car pushes out. Because right now, I don't know. But if I can guess, I think this car is pushing out probably a 1,000 at the crank. I don't know how much wheel horsepower, but... I say about a thousand. It's about a thousand horsepower uh, Challenger. Um, again, I don't know what it is. It's this car is literally a mutt. <laughs> it's it's literally a mutt. It is a Dodge Challenger Demon, a Dodge Challenger Hellcat, and a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack all in one. So we're gonna get we're gonna figure a name out for it though. But it is it is in fact a Scat Pack. It its original form from the factory was in fact a scat pack so i guess i'll consider it still a scat pack but it's just not your typical average scat pack it's different it's built it's built different so we we figure it out later but here we are we're gonna park up here and i'm gonna take it back okay stop this is what happens when you don't have trailer brakes you can't stop the trailer but um, we're going to take it back to the shop, and then they're going to finish rebuilding the car. And we'll have it back next week, probably next week, hopefully next week. And the Demon, or the Scat, the scat Pack, is going to be, it's going to be a ripper. It really is going to be a ripper. I can't wait. So, not at good at the moment, but it will be back. Don't worry, it will be back. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.